I'm rolling. Right, if you could just see your first and last name and what your position is with uh, Texas Tech. My name is Brian Hurth. I'm a research professor uh, with the National Wind Institute at Texas Tech University. And uh, what are we doing out here? So we have a team of eight researchers that have come to the coast to deploy instrumentation into the landfall of Hurricane Delta to primarily collect wind information uh, across the landfall region. Um, we're looking first to understand sort of the breadth of the wind field, but also we have our mobile radars with us and we're trying to look at sort of the structure of the wind as well um, as it relates to the damage that we've seen in this area. So it's not so much just how strong is the wind, but also what are the fluctuations in the wind and how does that vary uh, as the storm's making landfall? And then what does that mean for, for the structures around? Do you guys make it out to all the storms out here? This is the second deployment we've made this year. We came for Laura, so we're pretty familiar with this area. Um, so we typically deploy to any major hurricane that makes landfall anywhere in the U.S. Awesome. Um, so are you guys going to be uh, supplying this information to the National Hurricane Center or uh, that NOAA or anything like that? Right. So the, the data that we collect gets provided to, to NOAA, the National Weather Service. Um, and then also we have project sponsors that use the data for uh, insurance purposes and things like that. Did he mention the those instruments in there? So yeah, so what all, what all instruments are you deploying? And, and, and so, so yesterday the team uh, spent the entire day, we deployed 44 portable weather stations. We call them stick nets. They're basically engineering tripods that we've outfit with weather instrumentation. And those are deployed basically from Lake Charles all the way to uh, about west of Baton Rouge. And so we have the whole area covered with these platforms. And then we're gonna take the radar trucks today uh, to east of Lake Charles near the Welch area and set those up for uh, for deployment as the storm comes on shore. And we're hoping, since the storm's not gonna be probably too intense when it makes landfall, uh, that we'll be able to have the center pass right over the radars and we'll get really in interesting information about the, the, the center and the structure of the center of the hurricane. So I understand that the radar on Lake Charles was destroyed by Laura. Uh, will, this, will you guys that be out there benefit, kind of help fill that gap? The radars that we have are really focused on much smaller scales and they don't see as far, but what they see is in really high detail. But there's another uh, radar team from the University of Oklahoma that is actually bringing a radar, has brought a radar to replace, sort of supplement the Lake Charles radar that is down. So we have colleagues from Oklahoma that are actually helping to serve that purpose. Perfect. Are the, uh, is, is the people involved, is it staff of Texas Tech or is it students or graduates? Uh, good or? question. So we brought eight people to the field, uh, two are professors, Three are graduate students, PhD students, and then the rest are uh, various staff that either are supporting the project or are really interested in just coming and helping out. So we have a good mix of faculty, students, and uh, and staff from the university. Is there anything else you'd like to add? That's all you think. Is there I anything else you'd like to add at all? I don't think so. Awesome. Yeah. I really appreciate yeah, no it, problem, sir. Guys. That is awesome. Are you guys going to?